this is Connie and welcome to my channel Thrifty Gal Collectibles. Today's video is going to be about postcards that I have listed on my eBay ID CMP Twig. If you happen to like this video please hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified when I post new videos. So today I'm going to show you some of the interesting postcards that I have listed. Um, I've got a bunch, blah, a bunch of real postcards RPPC. These are people. I really, I do like the guy sitting in the chair. And I love old postcards because they're so neat and you can read the, you know, notes on the back and see what people were like. But these are all interesting. Oh, actually I have two of the guys sitting in the chair. <laughs> Here's two, two men in suits. Very handsome looking guys. And uh, you can tell a real postcard by the mark where the stamp would go. The um, upside down triangles. That gives you an idea that that is a real postcard made from a photo. So I have oh, a bunch of them right now. I have some Easter postcards. This one's a really, actually, you know what? I'm sorry. This little Easter postcard is listed in my Etsy store. Uh, my store listings are in the description if you're interesting, interested in going to take a look. So that's the only different one. The rest of these are done, are done in my eBay shop. So I have a mix of re ooh, real photo, my hands, real photo chrome, which are the more, I'll say recent, but not recent. These are probably from the 60s, 50s, it depends. They're not dated, but this one here is uh, Georgia's Drive-In Restaurant, Golf Driving Range in Columbus, Ohio. So, the, and this one here, Mount Gretna in Mount Gretna, Pennsylvania, the lake where there was swimming, while well, there is still swimming, and um, they have little shops, and every year they do um, a craft show. So this is the woman, I think it's called The Water's Fine. Nope, that is not it. It is, yes, The Water's Fine. <laughs> There we go. Um, this is the Hotel Plaza in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And this one here, I love the writing too. This one here was 1918, was the cancel stamp. I thought this was a neat postcard just because of the building. And it is a foreign postcard. And Wit Wittenberg, and I can't read the other name, but I just thought the architecture of the building was really neat. Uh, let's see what else do we have here. We have Chelsea High School Mayfair Apartments in Atlantic City, New Jersey. And a Gibraltar, another uh, photo postcard. This one here is foreign. It was a neat, it was just an, an interesting scene. Post Chapel, Langley Field, Virginia. This one here has, it was in a photo album and a little bit of that black paper stuck to the back. Oh, I always love these. Greetings, greetings from, this one is greetings from Ocean City, New Jersey. Check out how many people and look at the neat boat. I don't think they have them there anymore. And this one is posted and it's a cancel 1967. Oh, let's see if there's some other interesting ones in here. Um, the Brick Cabins, Sackets Harbor, New York. Um, old, there's an old golf sign there. There we go. Uh, this one here is Bradley Wales Lookout, Grand Canyon of PA. This is a linen postcard. There we go. And this is a, a neat postcard at uh, the river in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. 
lightning storm. Here's a new, a new Year's postcard. This one's embossed. It's canceled 1908. It's a divided back. Uh, the stamp is really neat. It's pretty. Oh, what else have we got here? Oh, here, I love the hotel ones. Those are the best. You can just see what the roads and everything used to look like back in the day. This one is Alamo Plaza Courts, and it is in Nashville, Tennessee on uh, US 70 and 41. So there you go. I have a couple of Harrisburg po postcards here. This is Market from 16th Street with the trolley tracks. Divided back. And River and City View from Fort Washington in Harrisburg, PA. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we have more real post photo postcards. Two ladies. Uh, now there's a little damage to this postcard. Corner's missing and there's a crease up here. But it is a non-divided back. So this is early 1900s. Well, judging by the outfits. And here is a group of handsome men. And this one is 1910 cancel stamp. I love the writing. Sometimes you can't even read them. Oh, we have a school picture. And this one has a little damage, well, has damage. The corner is missing. And the only thing I can say is it's Miller and Geist, Spruce Street, and Shimokan, PA. So could this be from Shimokan? I don't know. There's no identifying marks in the, in the picture that I can tell where it was, and that's the back. And this is where I got the information. Uh, I have some really neat Washington ones. I just love their embossed. And they're just colorful and really interesting. This one is uh, canceled 1909. I have another one too. Oh yeah, here it is. Another Washington. It's really neat. Oops, there you go. And I believe this one is canceled 1909. Um, here is Sunset Bowling center uh, home of the famous 52 lanes in a row and it's got like bowling score at the bottom and it shows people bowling this is a linen card and it had it's an average i don't want to say advertisement but the information of the bowling center here on the back here's another real photo card uh hotel lincoln um in Wildwood, New Jersey. So it's a picture of the hotel lounge and bar. It's kind of neat. Art Deco looking there. This one was posted. Oh, I can't read it. I'm sorry. But here's the back. I'm not sure what the date is. Oh, here we go. Some fire trucks. Uh, this is a Chrome postcard. Fire trucks. Uh, this is the Hummelstown, Pennsylvania Chemical Fire Company. And here's a shot of their trucks. And that's the back of that. Oh, we have some more. Oh, there we go. Nice old car, real photo postcard. Don't know where it's from, no real identifying names there's some people in the background <clears throat> excuse me and there's the back this is a neat kind of drawing postcard and it's signed and i apologize i can't read that because i don't have my glasses on 
but it's an interesting photo, or not photo, I'm sorry. It's an interesting card. There is a little bit of damage. There is a crease down here in the corner. And it is posted 1911 with some writing on the back. But she's really pretty. I think she's a cowgirl based on the hat and whip she's holding. This is a Ch Chantel real photo. Well, Chantel is written down here in the corner. Real photo postcard. And it's Paris with a scalloped edge. It's kind of neat and it's uh, posted, but I can't read the date. Oh, we have this wonderful a man and a, a man and a pretty maid. <laughs> Oops, lounging. It's a little. It's got some wear on the corners here and edges. It feels like linen, but it, it's it's not. And it's an older one. It says, given a, if a man and a pretty maid and a hammock cozily hung in the shade. Okay, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but there you go. And this foreign card is just unique. I don't even know what to say about that. It's a man carrying a goat. Greetings from Pennsylvania. This is really embossed. It's, it's a heavier card. And inside it says... Maytown. Greetings from Maytown, Pennsylvania. And this is what the back looks like. There's writing on it, but it wasn't posted. An another uh, Easter greeting card. A lovely lady holding an umbrella with some hens in there. She's cute looking. And there's the back. The last one I'm going to show you today is this one here. It took me a while to figure out where it was, but it's in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Um, there's a name on that hotel. I don't have my loop so that I could tell you what it is, but it's listed in my eBay store. And that's what the back looks like. It's not posted, but there you go. So these are some of the postcards that I have in my uh, eBay shop. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be seeing you soon.